All right, AI, it's time for our weekly Black Ops 4 Blackout Battle Royal stream. I hope you guys are ready for this shit. Hell yeah. Training time's over. Go to work. Training time is over. Time to go to work. That's right. We're established on drop zone. Go, go, go. YouTube mode one just did 100 bit cheer said YouTube mode on. Even though I was actually talking to my stream viewers, not to YouTube, mo YouTube viewers, but whatever. If that's how you feel, go right ahead. Thanks for the cheer. Uh, let's go right. I'm playing as the Ranger this week. So, FYI, a, a viewer and fan of mine got me into the Modern Warfare beta coming out in early September. So, I'll be in the beta when it launches. But because of that, you unlock Captain Price in Blackout of this game. Which is awesome. I said, oh, I should do it. And then people were like, nah, dude, and literally everyone is picking Captain Price because everyone's in the beta now. So, if you do that, you basically will be unoriginal. You'll be more original by doing any other build. So, I said, okay, I guess I'll, uh, I'll just be the Ranger then. So now I'm just a generic ass ranger. I have the VKM and the Titan, two complete garbage weapons. I can't get in the fucking window. <laughs> Robo Stiltkins, thank you for the cheer. I saw it. Or excuse me, the three dollar tip, Potential not the cheer. Detected. Um, Advise relocation to indicate it's safe zone. However, right now I do have to focus on the game before I can answer anything that you have to say or ask. Get back here, you piece of shit. There he goes. Catch his ass. Damn, he ran full fucking speed down this hill, dude. He's fast. Get back here. Supply drop inbound. God damn this guy. He won't stop running. I'm never going to cash him. There he goes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he won't stop running. <laughs> ah, he's running full speed the whole way. Is he in the water now? He must be. I got him. I finally fucking got him, dude. It took forever, but I got him. Jesus Christ. I got the kill. <laughs> All right, so Rumble Stills can send me $3. It says, I've been thinking about the special sauce you're reproducing tomorrow. It's like alchemy. You've been teasing about it as secret recipe. What is going to go on? Pasta, Parmesan style chicken. Uh, for the first day when we make the sauce, we make actually fresh sausage grinders with the sauce and melted. Uh, Milton mozzarella cheese on top on this nice crusty bread that we buy from a local uh, supermarket that uh, bakes it uh, fresh. So it's really freaking amazing, okay? Then we freeze the sauce, at least six portions, for future use in dinners. And usually it's for pasta. Every once in a while we'll use it for something different, like maybe chicken parm or something like that. But usually it's just for pasta. Nothing too crazy. All right, now I got the... What the fuck is it? I can't even read it. The auger? I think the text got even less defined now. What the fuck did they do? So, yeah. So, tomorrow I'll be having amazing grinders. And then, you know, one, once every two weeks or so, we'll be alternating uh, some pasta dishes. Various different kinds of pasta dishes. Because we like different ones. Alrighty then. Grabbing what I find as I run along here. Gotta keep moving. Uh, CM Fool has now to me a dollar and said, uh, I know I know way for you to make a lot of money. Play the Quiet Man. Oh my god, he's still on this Quiet Man thing. Dude, the Quiet Man came out, what was it, November of last year? And you're still on it about Quiet Man. You are dedicated, dude. 
You really want to fucking see me play quiet, man. That's pretty insane. But also, I guess, I guess it's respectable in some way. That you want to see me play Quiet Man so badly that, like, eight months after anyone would give a fuck about the game, you're still asking me to play it. <laughs> Keeping Earth did 100-bit cheer and said, very murder shit, brother. Then he did another 100-bit cheer and said, will there be sauce cam in the pot for tomorrow's stream? I'm pretty sure if I were to put a webcam inside of the pot as the sauce was simmering, it would damage the webcam to the point where it would probably destroy not only the camera but also the sauce. However... Maybe I'll take a picture or two, or maybe I won't. Sometimes I share, share pictures when I'm making the sauce on uh, Instagram and Twitter. We'll see. I mean, I've done it a million times so at this point. It's not very unique for me to do so, but we'll see what happens. Thank you for the cheers. Have I tried veggie pasta, says Polish Frog? You mean pasta made from vegetables. You mean like, um, like they have those things that will take like a zucchini or a carrot and cut it into like spirals, and then you can cook it and eat it. I've, I've never necessarily had it before as a dish. I think I've had it as, like, a side dish with other dinners. I'm pretty sure I've had that before as a side dish. But I've never actually had it. I think I want this. I think I want the grab over the swat. Um, I've never actually had it as, like, a main course. Oh, fucking shit. Well, I'm done. Some asshole camping in a building with nothing I could do about it whatsoever. He killed me with a shit weapon, too. He was sitting here camping. So, yeah, no, I've never had it as a main course. I think I'm pretty sure I've had, like, the, spir the, the spiral... What do they call it? Spiral teeny or something? I think I've had it as, uh, as a side dish with other stuff, like a main course. But I've never had it as, like, my main entree, so... And my Venisex did under a cheer said, Do you use your sauce for chicken parm? I just said sometimes... I've used it a couple times. Just that we don't have chicken parm very often. Um, chicken parm is a way more complicated dish where you have to take... First of all, you have to try to buy the thin-cut chicken breast. If you try to use a thick chicken breast, it takes a million years to cook properly, and it's a major pain in the ass. By the way, I forgot to do my contracts. Fuck. Well, shit. Let's see what we got for this week. Please first, any black off any of the following. Solo, duos, or quads. Okay. Kill enemies with three different guns in a single game. That's possible. Open three supply drops. Kill two enemies with a vehicle turret. Unlock a mystery box three times. Or kill two enemies without taking damage from them. Oh, that's an easy one. That's pretty easy. F fuck that. Yeah, let's do... Let's try win, and let's try kill two enemies who never fi uh, you never never fired at me. There you go. All right, we got to open one of these here. A case here with your name. But I uh, know, uh, like, has made chicken parm a couple times. The problem is it's so frustrating, because unless you can buy the thin-cut chicken breast, it's a pain in the ass to cook properly. And there's actually been... Oh, look at this. The M16 Tactical Rifle. Three-round burst tactical rifle. Improved damage and accuracy with a longer delay between bursts. What mode is this for? The M16? I don't think that's for Blackout, is it? Because in Blackout, you just get the weapons that are on the ground. Like some, some rare weapon, probably for multiplayer, that I'll never fucking use. Right? Polish frogs says chicken parm with thighs is easier to cook than breasts. Right. I know, but the thing is, you know, traditionally chicken parm is made with chicken breasts. And let me put it this way. Cat made it twice. One time we bought the, th we, they had the thin cut breasts and it came out amazingly perfect. It was crisp on the outside, juicy on the inside, amazing flavor with the sauce and the cheese. Perfect. Then another time we couldn't get the thin cut. So we got the th thicker ones and she pounded them with a mallet that we had and they still wouldn't cook. Like she had to keep putting them back in the oven over and over. It was a major pain in the ass and we were like, fuck this. So unless we ever find thin-cut breasts again, we probably will never do chicken parm again. So typically we do different kinds of pasta with my pasta sauce. Okay, um... Baldi says that's an insanely rare gun that some people spend like $500 trying to get it. Seriously? <laughs> that stupid gun? What, what mode is that gun for? Does anyone know? I'm waiting, I'm waiting because people are saying that was rare. I don't think you could use it in Blackout, right? Alexander Rossi says some YouTubers spent $800 on boxes trying to pull that weapon. What the fuck? It's the M16 Golden Colt. It's the gold, it's, you know, ultra level rarity M16. Yeah, <laughs> Rebel still says it's like a sell my account for a quick $500. Yeah, right.
It wasn't the M16, it was the MP16? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is. Bambino says, I've ever thought about blocking any game studios or publishers. I'm seriously considering Konami. They're such a scumbag fucking company that I don't think I want to play. Even if they come out with good games, I don't think I want to play them. Like, I'm serious. Like, I didn't play the Castlevania collection they came out with or whatever. And I seriously don't think I want to play any games from them ever again. I don't think they deserve any money. The top tip is incorrect. No, it's not. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Rumble Stiltskins did a $3 tip. You're right. Oh, my God. I didn't update any of this. You guys are right. Thank you. You guys are absolutely correct. Thank you for calling me out on that because sometimes I'm not on the ball and we all know that, you know, people should get credit for their contributions and I, I actually feel bad and I'm sorry, Rumpelstiltskins, that it took me so long to do that. That's my fault. Huh. Oh, man. It's going to lay down in the shade and hopefully be left alone. <laughs> okay. Ah. What's my wrestling finisher? The fart face. You hear your uh, Rikishi stink face? Well, mine is I actually bend over and I just rip a giant stinker right in your face. Rumble Stiltskins now to me $5 and it's okay. I, I'm still well behaved. Dude, Rumble Stiltskins, I got to give you some credit. You've done well. I think you've been here for almost a week now, right? And there hasn't been a single problem. No one's complained to me. Everything seems to be fine, so I guess you really have behaved yourself. Like I said, I think oh, Rumble Stiltskins may be the singular case of someone who actually, like, got banned but said they would be better, came back, and actually is doing well now. So, thumbs up, dude. Nice as he's defied all odds. <laughs> That's right, Mithra Deuce is the biggest comeback story of 2019. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, number one birthday boy did a hundred bit cheer and said some of the weirdest shit I've ever seen. And I'm not even going to repeat it because it's about nudes of a former roommate of mine. I don't even know who you're talking about. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know anymore. Hello to Coco. What's going on, Coco? Daki Swerve, you've been doing well as well. Daki Swerve, honestly, I don't even know why you were banned. I don't remember. I don't honestly remember. You seem to be usually a positive contributor to the stream, so I guess one day maybe you just said something that was pretty nasty or rubbed someone the wrong way. I don't even know if it was me who banned you. I seriously can't remember. That's what I mean. I don't hold grudges. I don't give a shit about this stuff. I'm just here to have fun. If you guys are having fun with me, I really don't care. KN. KN's a pretty good gun. Sensor dart. Pick that up. Look, there's a backpack in here. What's that? Yeah. I got the can and the ICR. Usually I, I use one or the other. Because usually I never find both. Now I found both. Relocation indicated safe oh my god. I'm dead center in the fucking circle. Has that ever happened? I don't think I've ever actually started completely in the center. <laughs> I've been playing this since fucking launched 10 months ago. That's pretty funny. Uh, Heaving Earth did a 100-bit cheer and says, do you, do you wear your DSP gaming graphic thong? Like Rikishi, when you do your signature wrestling move. Yeah, you know the thong that I used to sell on, um, over on Cafe Press with my face on it? Yeah, I wear that thong when I do it. So my balls are hanging over the edge of the thong, flapping while I... <laughs> yes, it's a great picture. Two flapping balls on the sides of a thong as I give you the fart face finish here. Oh, it's great. It's great comedy. It's probably something Vince would have actually done in the 90s, too. Well, Heaving Earth asked the question. I answered it. I... <laughs> Sorry, guys. There you go. Sorry about that. Maybe it was a little bit too honest. Where do I want to go? I guess I'll head northeast. Yeah, this way. Well, either way. Either up there or up there. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I almost missed this. What do we got? A rampart fully loaded and a SWAT fully loaded. All right. I'll just take them. Another sensor dart. Oh, uh, instead of the SWAT, I'll take the ICR. There we go. 
Nice, and I got ICR and a fucking rampart with all the attachments. Damn, dude. I wish I had better armor in it, though, to be honest. Guitar player 1939 has just hit me $5. He says, have you watched Marvel's Runaways on Hulu? No, I am not. I, I heard that this series existed, but... Quite honestly, this is me being very honest. I really don't watch much TV anymore. The only TV I consistently watch is WWE. Outside of that, very rarely do I even watch television. Like I said, when Cat gets home from work, we usually, you know, sit around and talk about our days. And usually Jasper comes over and hangs out with us. We play with him for a while. Usually we'll have a snack or something. Um, and we listen to relaxing music at night. We really don't watch much TV. The TV that I watch, I usually watch before Cat gets home. Like, for example, during my break... Uh, today, I watched uh, NXT and some of NXT UK for this week. Um, and that's typically what I do is I'll watch a little bit of, of, of uh, wrestling while she's at work. And then when she comes home, we just kind of relax together and play with Jasper and, and do whatever. Uh, we don't really watch many TV series or anything. Every once in a while, we'll get bored and we'll look for some TV series. And we watch things like... We actually watch Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. It's pretty funny. Um, because it's the weirdest show with the weirdest fucking most disgusting food possible, but it's still kind of entertaining to watch. Um, or we'll watch, like, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, or, you know, we watch all these shows about animals. We don't watch anything that's, like, a popular new show or anything. We just don't really care. <laughs> Alright. I really wanted a sip of water. Ah, it's refreshing. Got level 2 armor now, which is good. Now I, need, now I need better healing. Basically, I'm going piece by piece grabbing the items that I think I'll need, and now I need better healing is, like, the main focus. Yeah? Okay, go upstairs. Number one birthday boy did a 100-bit cheer and said, Come on, it's my birthday, and I want to... Oh, that's disgusting. I don't even know what you're talking about, so stop it right now. You're being gross. And thank you for the cheer, you disgusting freak. Excuse me. What scope do I have on this? Two times? Alright, I'll do it three times. Okay. Thank you, Rumpel Stillskins. He said, bless you when I burped. I didn't sneeze, I burped. I'm nice and full. I had the leftover, because I know someone's going to ask me, what do you have for dinner tonight, Phil? I had the leftover... Mexican bake that Cat had made two nights ago. We had a, a bunch left over. And Cat today uh, actually was hanging out with her friend because she had a little bit of time before work. So she went and were hung out with one of her co workers. They, they went and had a, a dinner together because they rarely get any time to hang out as friends because she's working so fucking much. So they went and hung out, and I was said, oh, I'll just eat the leftovers at her at home. That's fine. Yes, Meat Pistol Meltdown, that's exactly what happens. He cheered and he said, Does your side of the conversation with Cat go something like this? You wouldn't believe how glitchy the game was today, and obviously trolls came by and get this, though they're still giving me money to troll. Sometimes, it all depends on what happened that day. Sometimes I tell her about how Jasper behaved that day. Sometimes I actually tell her about what I streamed that day. Sometimes I tell her about talking about the games that I played, anything that interesting to happen. Uh, you know, it's all for my day, and then she tells me about her day. That's what you do. That's what you do. No, we get home and she sits down and we immediately become mute. And we don't talk to each other for the rest of the night. It's great. It's great because we don't see each other all day and then we don't talk to each other all night. It's a really great relationship. We just shut the fuck up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, I would really like better, uh, better first aid items. Which I'm not finding right now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just finding crappy ammo and stuff. And my minute sex cheer, said, what's in a Mexican bake? So what it is, is basically you lay out layers of Mexican ingredients into a pan, a, uh, like a, a glass baking pan. Much like you would do like with lasagna, but you do it with Mexican ingredients. So for example, tortillas, uh, refried beans, different kinds of chilies, salsa, uh, cooked tomatoes, etc. And, so, and some cheese, Mexican style uh, blend of cheese. Zone. It's really fucking good. Like, it's, it's actually, it's, it comes out like lasagna, but it's actually different because it doesn't have noodles. It has tortillas. It's really good. And, yeah, I never had anything like that until she started making uh, this kind of stuff. And I was like, damn, like, it's fucking good. I like it. Keep making it, please. I think I might chill. I don't know. 
I don't know where I'm gonna have to go. Probably east. If I stay prone, no one can see me here. That's true. I'm completely hidden, except for, like, one spot up there. Oh, uh, number one birthday boy chewed again. He said, you ever... All right, I've had enough of this, dude. That's it. <sighs> I can't do it. I gave you three chances to stop. And now you gotta be gross three times. That's three times you're out, dude. Three times I gotta hear you about busting fat nuts. I've had enough. You're out of here. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Oh, so thank you, guitar player, for the $5 tip. That gets us up to $15 in tips tonight. I appreciate that. Again, remember, preferred method tonight of contribution would be tipping. If you have a choice to, of how you can contribute, please tip me if you can. That helps me out more than anything else right now. Thank you. All right. I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill until uh, I have a reason to move. Cheer for free emotes, that's right. We talked about this earlier. Um, they started a new thing on Twitch today. If you cheer imminent. with the cheer mode command imminent. scoops and then a number of bits, you'll earn cheer modes for yourself. As And then you'll have some that are gifted. So I think people were saying, if you do it with like 200 bits, you, you get two two emotes, but you gift like uh, a few. If you do a thousand bit cheer, you gift like 25 to random people. And what the emotes are that are gifted, I have no idea. Something about food. Golden Nobles did a hundred a fifty bit cheer. So why is the water red? Because this is the stupid ass. And yes, it is stupid. Uh, like like end of apocalypse Z, blah 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 plotline where apparently everyone turned into zombies. That's the stupid plot of it, which makes no sense because there's no fucking zombies in this mode except for very few that are placed around for the mystery boxes. You know, it's not like Day Z used to be or anything like that. But basically, they copied Day Z and they made it. Oh, it's the end of the world now, and the water's blood, and everyone turned into a zombie, and blah blah blah. So there you go. Yeah, I know zombies in August. They did this update. What was it? Early August? It was either late July or early August. Like, what a weird time to add this update, right? But I think what it is is they realized the game, no one was going to play this come October because Modern Warfare would be out. So they like, oh, we got to do it now so people will actually play it before the game goes out of style. <laughs> Does Kat ever recommend games for me to play on stream as Polish Frog? Yeah, sometimes she'll recommend her favorite classics from back in the day. Like, she was very happy that earlier this year I played Donkey Kong Country 3, and also she was very happy I played Mario 64, because those are both games from Supply her childhood that she played, and she was excited to hear that I was going to play them on uh, on stream for the first time. That's right, Golden Nobles, the end of the game's life is coming. Like I, I, I said this, two months left, that's it. Because once Modern Warfare comes out on the 25th of October, this game's effectively dead. So we basically got, like, you know, seven, eight more sessions. If I do play it weekly, seven, eight more sessions of this before the game's completely dead. So. Okay. <sighs> Dank Nook says, you know, there was another man who turned water into blood. He went by JC and he was a carpenter. That's right, Jonathan Coachman. He started off as a carpenter, then he did work for WWE. Now he actually works for ESPN as a commentator. But you're right, he used to be able to turn water into blood as well. It was pretty amazing, but he found out that, uh, not a big market for turning water into blood in reality. You know, not a lot of people like that. They think it's kind of gross. So, uh, ended up, uh, you know, looking for other kinds of work. Okay. No, not John Carpenter, the director, although John Carpenter also dabbled with blood like water. <laughs> In his movies, a lot of blood. <clears throat> no, I did not hear that Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins are engaged, but that's that's excellent. Good news if, if it's true. Everyone should be happy for them. And if you're not, you're a huge dick. Alrighty. People might actually still play this game because of Blackout. Modern Warfare reportedly isn't going to have a battle world mode, at least not at launch. It's Extreme Machine. I mean, yeah and no. Like, I'm sure there will still be people who like the battle world mode who will keep playing this, but it's not going to be a lot of people. You know what I mean? Like, there will be people, but it's not going to be nearly as many as there are now. It's going to be a ginormous drop in the amount of people who are playing this mode. Because um, most people will have moved on to Modern Warfare. You know, just like, oh, well, people still play uh, World War II and people still play Black Ops 3 and people still play this and that. 
I'm sure they do, but it's nowhere near a healthy player base for a new release game. So, even though right now it's so easy to easily get matches or whatever, I would guarantee you that come, you know, another one to two months, trying to play this to get, get a match is going to be, like, impossible. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting out of here. Someone just blew up a vehicle. I'm. Oh, I see. Look. I'm just going to run. This guy's going to be in a car in a minute. Maybe I should camp near this tree. I probably will. It's kind of a good place to chill. No one can really see me. A vehicle can't hit me. What the fuck was that? Alright, maybe that wasn't a good place to chill. I can't move. I can't get up. I seriously can't get up. The game won't let me. So there's a sniper who sees me. Alright, fucking move. A sniper saw me, so that was not a good place. <laughs> oh, there's someone on top of the roof there. I was fighting someone on the ground level. I'm gonna move on. Top 12. Probably someone in this fucking house, too. I don't care, I'm gonna bust in the window. I don't give a shit. Actually, I don't think anyone's been in here. Well, they were probably earlier on, though. No one in here now, so I'm just gonna chill out. Just gonna hang out in this closet while everyone kills himself. Top 10 right now. I'm in top 10. I can just relax. No one can even see me from here. Is the ICR or the Rampart better? I don't even know. I seriously don't know. I played this since launch. I don't fucking know. But I consider putting office decorations on my wish list so we can help spice up the stream. Like what? There's what could I possibly put in my office behind me that you guys would like to see? Hello, Jasper. Hi, buddy. Did you wake up? Come on up here. Yeah, hello. Good to see you. Mr. Jasper's joined us tonight. Hello, sir. <laughs> no, I've never watched any of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I have not. A frog mascot? Why do we need a frog mascot? We have a real-life mascot right here. The best cat ever, by the name of Mr. Jasper. Hey, buddy. Little scratches, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He woke me up this morning, but not too bad. I think he, tr he tried to wake me up Get to safety, at like 7.30 in the morning, which is too early. So I just told him, please leave me alone. He did. Then he woke me up at like 8.30, and I was like, I gotta get up at 9 anyway. I might as well just get up, so. <laughs> you want a Jasper tail emote? Decky's first is we should get a Jasper tail emote, because you can see his tail on the stream constantly. Supply drop uh, inbound. Keeping her cheer, just a cat furniture behind the couch so he's more active during stream. There's nowhere to put it. I keep telling you guys, there's nowhere to put it behind the couch. There's no room. Look, this is the wall. Right here, this is the wall. I'm touching the wall. There's no room behind the couch to put anything for him. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I wasn't trying to get your attention. I was showing them the wall. Okay. Oh, my God. This fucking troll... He's back, and he's being annoying. Jasper, don't drink my water. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Don't knock over my water bottle. Come on, man. All right, anyway. I'm, wow, I'm dead center. I'm actually dead fucking center of the game right now. <laughs> yeah, look. I might actually be in a crazy good position. Jasper, you're going nuts. What are you doing, silly? What are you doing? Crawling all over the place, being a knucklehead. Being a knucklehead while I try to survive. <laughs> Polish Frogs says, what about some cool RGB lights? Well, remember, I put lights on stream sometimes for Christmas and the like. But it seems to be like... They, first of all, if it's Christmas, that's one thing. I wouldn't want like lights all the time on the stream. I think they'd be more distracting. And bright lights don't look well on the webcam. Like, they actually don't look the color they are. The Christmas light... Like, like one year, I did Halloween lights and Christmas lights. People complain... Oh, those Halloween lights are just the Christmas lights. You recycled them. They're the same ones. I'm like, no, actually, they're not. The, the, the Halloween lights were purple, black, white, and orange, while Christmas lights were, like, green and red. But they looked exactly the same on the on the webcam because the webcam isn't, you know, I don't have a crazy good quality webcam. It's just a, a, a shitty one from years and years ago. 
So it's not picking up the 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 good you know the colors and everything perfectly. All right, top seven. Collapse expected. Wow. The indicated safe zone. I'm right on the fucking edge. I'm living on the edge. Oh, I hear sniper shots going off. Holy shit. So everyone's going to be rushing this town now. Imminent. Get to safety. We're living on the edge. I actually think that song is more pertinent today than it ever was. The Aerosmith song, We're Living on the Edge. I heard bullet shots from out there, so I figured someone would be coming to save their life running from the wall, but I don't see anybody. Wait a minute, top three? Holy shit, I'm in top three. They all were out there and killed each other. So I'm going to guess the other two probably already are on the other side of town here. Probably hold up. Expected. Yeah. The indicated safe zone. See, this is what's going to suck. Now we're going to be forced to go over there. We're going to get fucked up. Because one of them is probably already in there in one of those houses. And the other two of us are going to be forced to walk up. And we're going to get fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh? I got sniped. There's a sniper out there. All right, let me quickly do this, then I'll run into the town. Oh, it didn't, it didn't damage my body armor. Figure that one out. See him, he's just ran up the hill. Motion sensor. Major instability detected. Evac to safe zone. Oh my god, second place. He's got a motion sensor though, so I just gotta stay put. Had him. That was close. Almost had him. Finally. Ha! <laughs> Finally. That was close. Damn. Close game. Good stuff. All right. Let's see here. Oh. Uh, so, me pistol meltdown. If they would let me quit out of this, I wouldn't hear the song. This would be great. But apparently they're not going to let me. So I just got to close the whole game again. Because <laughs> that song, when the lyrics start playing, gets content ID matched on YouTube. As stupid as that sounds, it does. Uh, me Pistol Meltdown did a 50-bit cheer and said, The new upcoming trend among streamers is to have LED lights with their Twitch name spelled out in a neon bar light style thing. That sounds really stupid. 
Uh, Golden Nobles cheered and said, Jasper, he's right here. He's actually sleeping on the floor, relaxing. Vote Democrat cheered. He said, when will we see the more of Fortnite? Real talk. Probably never. And Bagel Goose cheered. He said, if you had a green screen, would you get the highest tip of the night? Pick the background. No. Jackie Spurs says, just remember, silver medals are worth more than gold ones. Why? Because silver is more valuable than gold right now? Huh. <laughs> So, very close. Oh, we actually got a, uh, I got another tier, another uh, reserve drop, so I'll get another gun I'll never use. Hold up. I got something back here. Here we go. It is what it is. Wow. I, I can't wait to use that. <sighs> Yo, I can sense an empty wallet. From a mile away. Fucking stupid. Okay. All right, let's see here. Golden Noble Shears said, what a big troll move they did putting that song in the game. Yeah, they put that in just for the new update for the zombies, and the song plays and puts Lay's lyrics, and now your, all your videos get claimed on YouTube. Isn't that nice? <laughs> the best part is, like, it plays even when you don't win. Like, I didn't win that match. It fucking plays anyway. <laughs> Stupid game. This guy's also commenting about an empty wallet, so he must actually know who I am. <laughs> he knows exactly who I am. Why I haven't, you know, he knows how empty my wallet is. Could I pick up Jasper? No, right now he's over here on the floor laying and relaxing. I'm not going to pick him up now. If he comes over here again, I'll pick him up if you guys want me to. But I'm not going to pick him up when he's sitting here with his eyes closed. That's messed up. Will I be playing Planet Zoo in November? Uh, someone told me about it. It's a zoo. It's a, basically a zoo um, simulation game, right? Now, I played one of those at the launch of the Xbox One. I can't remember what it was called. Was it Zoo Tycoon? I think it was. <laughs> now, keep in mind, back then, was I live streaming? Yes. Was I doing chill streams where we interact and just relax and have fun? No. Maybe it could be a cool chill streaming game. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Did I, did I ever play Dino Crisis 1 and 2? I played 1 during a Halloween marathon for about an hour and a half once, and I liked it, but I never went back to it. I never played Dino Crisis 2. Dino Crisis is essentially just another Resident Evil. It feels exactly like Resident Evil. Bambino says, after seeing you struggle with the Jurassic Park sim game, it might not be a good idea. I don't know. It depends on the, I guess it depends on the difficulty level, too. Like, I Zoo Tycoon, I don't think I ever had a problem with. I thought it was a fun game. But that's the thing. It was like an ultimate chill game. There was no rage. There was no stress playing it. And ultimately, people were angry about that. They were like, ah, we like feel raging and blah, blah, blah. What the? Oh, I, dude, you gotta be kidding me. I clipped through it. Oh, hi. Sit rep. Potential collapse detected. Relocation to indicated safe zone is advised. What the fuck is going on? Oh shit. Okay. 
Well, that was stupid. Bring around the Rosie trying to find the fucking guy while the stupid zombie was chasing us. <laughs> Me, Bizzle Meltdown, cheers. If you were to retire completely from content creation, would you delete your YouTube channel and would you do something ridiculous on your last ever Twitch stream to get yourself permanently banned? No, I would not delete my YouTube channel. I like it to be there as an archive of what I've done with my life for 11 years. That would be pretty stupid. And no, I wouldn't want to get myself permanently banned because what if I ever want to come back for a special return or an anniversary show or something? I would want to have an avenue to do that, right? Sour Patchy cheered and said, Did you ever listen to the song Old Town Road? No. Golden Nobles cheered and said, Have you ever seen any gameplay of Death Stranding? I watched some today and I have no idea what to make of it. I only saw what they showed around E3 time. I did not see any of the new stuff that I guess they showed at Gamescom this week. I'm, I haven't seen it. I'm too busy. <laughs> I just don't care, honestly. Some people are like, oh, it looks amazing, groundbreaking. Other people are like, wow, this game looks like shit. It doesn't look like it's fun at all. It looks like it's just a bunch of busy work that Kojima made to slap together to say it's unique, when in reality, he never ever asked anyone if it was actually fun to play, and it doesn't look fun to play at all. But that's all I heard. I don't know anything about it. I haven't seen it. So... It looks interesting at least. That's good. Do I have a favorite Watchmen character? Yeah, Rorschach. I think everyone likes Rorschach. The little runt guy who basically is an insane psychopathic badass once he puts on the mask. <laughs> You don't get it. I'm not in here with you. You're all in here with me. There you go. Guitar riff. Okay. Let's go down here. Good starting loadout. <laughs> that was a good stuff in that trailer. Oh, this one you can't go in. Wow, dude. Location to indicate it's safe zone Another is game. I'm right in the center. Look at this. I'm seriously right in the center. How is this happening? How am I getting right in the center by random luck? Oh, let's see here. Me, Pistol Meltdown, Tree. a homeless person simulator looks more fun than Death Stranding. It's actually a survival game where you got to craft a tent and other shit. Crack will probably restore your HP. You should play it. Wow. Okay, then. The rampage. Net call. Supply drop incoming. All right. Have I ever gotten a professional massage? No. I don't know why people keep asking me this. You're like the third person who asked me this week. No, never. 
Never had a professional massage. Never had acupuncture. Never had a chiropractor. Nothing. Never. Oh, look. The girl from the ring's in here. Very nice. Shoot her in the face. Huh, Jasper, you're waking up again? He relaxed for like 20 minutes and I'm sitting up again. Just keep running and checking out these houses. <clears throat> oh, fuck! I, I seriously wasn't looking. I wasn't looking at all. And then I looked up, I was already in shot. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I was looking at Jasper and reading stream chat. This is, this is. Go Democrat Tracy, you never been to a chiropractor. I thought your back was fucked. It was, but my back is fucked, but it's because of uh, an extremely hermly an extremely herniated disc. A chiropractor wouldn't have helped with that. What I needed was either something to make the disc swelling go down or to build the muscles up around the disc or to decompress the disc. The chiropractor doesn't do any of that stuff. Daggy's River says, I heard that Dex turned into a troll meme this week, but I do think you'd really enjoy the series. Okay, well, yeah, apparently some shithead played it on stream, and so now everyone keeps asking me for hell about it and thinks it's hilarious to ask about it. I don't know why they think that's funny. Just because some shithead plays a game doesn't mean asking someone else to play it is funny. I mean, that's just if you're a brain-dead idiot, you think that, I guess, you know? <laughs> what is my favorite team in Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Uh, I had a few over the years. When I first started off, I liked, like, Cable, Cyclops, and Storm. Or starting, it really would be Storm, Cable, Cyclops. Then I kind of variated my team a little bit over the, t over the years um, to have a little bit more variety to it. So I started picking the faster teams, like Magneto would be in there and stuff like that. Then I got really good with Sentinel. And I could do the fly-unfly combos with Sentinel that do insane amounts of damage and stuff. Um... So, I ended up picking Sentinel, putting him on all my teams. Then, at the, near the end of the life cycle, when people were playing it competitively there, I wanted to basically have variety and fun. So, I ended up picking more gimmick teams. Like, I would pick uh, Magneto, Cable, Tronbon, and shit like that. Or Magneto, Storm, Tronbon. Basically, Tronbon was a glitched assist in the game. She would deal, like, five times more damage than she was supposed to. So she would come out and hit for insane damage during a combo. And she could be used in setups to trap people. It was really broken, that assist. And as a character, she's terrible. But she's an insanely good assist. So I would use her as, like, my third character. Do I remember Blazini Flow? Yes, I remember Blazini Flow. Blackout. Okay. What's my opinion on the MK11 combat pack? I like all the guest characters. I think they're interesting. I think the Atlas of the T800 is my, the most interesting to me. I really don't care about Sindel, and Joker looks terrible, but you won't know anything until the characters are actually released and we see what they play like. So, uh, let's see. I can't pronounce that. Tav Lagoon Gerlin? I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Tim me a dollar and said, a big fan would like to see you play Hollow Knight. That's great, but I have no desire to play it. And my viewer's base doesn't like Castlevania style, or uh, Castlevania Metroidvania style games. So, I'm probably not going to ever play it. Thank you for the dollar tip. No, uh, oh yes, Golden Nobles. The nominating has not begun yet for the retrospective event. It says the retrospective event will take place until sometime in, in September. It hasn't even begun yet, so don't worry. It's not like, oh, I'm, you missed out. You didn't miss out on anything. It's going to happen. The nominations will open sh soon. Uh, I would say probably within the next one to two weeks. But I figure let's actually get the Rageathon going and under our belts before I start worrying about the next event because I know it's not going to be for a while anyway. I mean, we hit the, the sub goal so quickly. It kind of took me by surprise. I didn't think we were going to hit the sub goal so quickly once I announced the event, but we did, so. Okay. Shout out to me, Pistol Meltdown, who cheered and said, I don't know why you give me that look whenever I suggest fun games to you. You used to play the dumbest shit out there and had a good time doing it. Now it's all about these serious playthroughs that I'm a mature adult. Potential give me a break. When did you become... When did you become so old? Uh, probably about the time that uh, I I got older. You know, you know, as you get older, you get you get old. As you get add years to your life, you become older, and you don't want to play stupid shit anymore. 
But there you go. By the way, I didn't give you a look at all, so I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I didn't give you a look whatsoever. I think you're a little paranoid there, buddy. Sorry, third eye. I didn't know you were so touchy. Okay. Well, I'm going to head north this way. <clears throat> M5NSX and Affinity Mature said Red Baron or DiGiorno? Always DiGiorno. Even though I don't think DiGiorno is the best, Red Baron is terrible. It's fucking garbage, dude. It's the lowest grade. That, that All those ones that are like the thin, nasty crust is... Ugh, that's not real pizza to me. It doesn't even have crust on the edges either. Red Baron, they don't even bother putting a crust on the edge of the fucking pizza. That's pathetic. It's like there's part of the pizza missing. It's an, in it's an incomplete pizza. I hear footsteps above me. What the fuck? This gun sucks. I can't move. I killed him. I killed him with this piece of shit. Ah! This thing's like a staple gun. It shoots BB BBs at you. <laughs> that guy should be ashamed to die to me. That's pathetic, dude. That's completely lame that he died. What a what a we what a fucking garbage player. Oh my god. Now, does he have a real gun? They won't even show me what gun he has. The fuck? They seriously won't show. Oh, he has the outlaw. Oh my god, he has the ICR. He died to me with an ICR with all these attachments. You fucking scrub. You suck ass, dude. You seriously suck ass. He had a fucking ICR and he died to that piece of shit gun. Holy shit. Wow, don't ever play again. <laughs> Just retire. Wow. God damn, dude. That's real bad. What the fuck stupid skin is this on the ICR I picked up? Look at the stupid skin this guy had on his gun. It looks terrible. <sighs> hey, he thinks this is cool. God, it looks so bad. Four-year-old fucking likes this. All right. Well, let's see here. Vash, Vash seven three four two cheers. Says if I cheer five thousand bits, will you make my dream come true? GSP tries the sour patch cereal. No, that's disgusting. Sour patchy cheers. Said will you we rather be roommates with your biggest detractor or only be allowed to eat hungry man frozen dinners for the rest of your life? Uh, if I was if I was roommates, forced roommates with my biggest detractor, I could make their life a living hell. I could totally haze them and fuck around with them constantly. Because in reality, the only reason these people are detractors of mine is because they don't see me in real life. <laughs> they can't get away with that shit in person, so that's why they do it online. If I, in person, that dude would get so fucking hazed, I would I would troll the fuck out of him on a daily basis, and he would be crying every morning. So, yeah, that's what I would like. Sure. Oh, shit. You heard that, right? Someone running around. No, I don't hear it. I think he ran away. Whoever it was, I think they left. Because I don't hear it anymore. I think I faintly hear footsteps, so it's like at least a building over. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna head straight, I guess. Let's get out of here.
Oh, that'll cover my exit. <laughs> All right, I got some contributions here, but I can't read them until I get to a save point. So let me get down here, and then I'll uh, see what we got to work with. Well, I'm right on the edge. All right, a few shout-outs here. Batman tipped me two dollars. Said apparently, Man of Medan is only around four hours, give or take. Cross my fingers, you wrap a game up quick and give Astral Chain a chance. I'm not surprised, but I guarantee you the game will be open to multiple playthroughs because just like in Until Dawn, there were tons of optional choices and things that you could do to make people live or die or make different relationships pan out differently. So more than likely, it's going to at least be worth two playthroughs. I'm sure. Uh, Click Clack tipped me a dollar said, You wish you would have gotten into MOBAs instead of the fighting game community when you see the pot for the Dota 2 tourney. The truth of the matter is, I don't really care about competitive gaming at all. I don't care if it would have been fighting games or or MMOs or MMOs or MOBAs or whatever. I'm not that kind of guy. Like I, I was with fighting games because I grew up with them in arcades. But now that I'm older, I don't care about that shit anymore. I wouldn't want to have to be completely dominated and controlled by a competitive community where I have to constantly be traveling and fucking doing all that stressful shit. Right now, I have a nice, beautiful life with a, with my wife at home. Why the fuck would I want to have to travel every week to go to a new... thought I heard footsteps. To go to a new tournament somewhere to deal with more nonsense and drama and shit? Nah. I like where I am right now, dude. I don't want to be in any competitive community. I don't care if it's a MOBA, a fighting game, or nothing. I like just chilling, having fun with games, and, and hanging out with you guys during the day, and then spending time with my wife and my cat at night. That's my life. It's a good life. And that's what I want from life. So there you go. It's a good life. <clears throat> Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Oh, let's see here. M5NSX True said, I miss DSP tries it. I mean, in some ways I do too. I like being able to try the new items. Like, I probably would have done the Impossible Burger recently from uh, from Burger King. I probably would have tried the new... Wendy's had a bunch of new burgers that I didn't try. But the truth of the matter is, you know, there's a, a right time for, for in a wrong time. And I think that basically DSP tries that outlived its usefulness. I'm not a young solo guy anymore who goes and eats shitty fast food every day. Or should be. I'm 37 years old. I shouldn't even be eating that shit. You know, on the regular at all. Maybe every once in a while is a rarity, but definitely not something I should be eating, doing regularly. Um, you know, there's no, I don't want to be spending money on that shit constantly. Uh, you know, like I said, there was a time and place for it, and I did it at the right time. That's why I think it was so popular. Now, I just, you know, I don't think it's time to do it anymore. I think it had its, its, its time. I played it. It got played out. And, uh, you know, now I can do my thing. Enjoy games. Hang out with you guys. Which is what all I ever wanted to do. That's the truth of the matter is... That's all I ever wanted to do on YouTube to begin with was play games and have fun. But then I had to diversify and do all this other shit because YouTube kept fucking up and doing weird shit. And, you know, at first I couldn't even monetize my gameplay videos. So I had to basically make other kinds of videos to monetize so I could do this until I could finally monetize my gameplay videos and all kinds of crazy shit. You know, I could sit here for an hour explaining why I started all out these vlogging series. But in reality, um, you know, I like what I'm doing now. I want to stay with what I'm doing, and I don't want to go back to vlog series and stuff. So, I hear you. To some extent, I understand why I miss DSP Tries It too. I think it was a really cool thing that I did. But I think that it did end when it logically should have. At least it didn't fucking last too long. It gets so drawn out and, and stupid that it shouldn't have existed anymore. But I only did it for the sake because people were demanding it, you know? At least I didn't lose my passion for it. I still enjoyed doing it while I did it, you know what I mean? Me and Pistol Meltdown Chase, I thought you could haze you know who. Did you see where he lives? His neighbors are gang members with AKs. That's nice. Do you think he is? Do you really think that my detractors are gang members with AKs? Is this what you think? This is the kind of person that you think is actually trolling someone on the internet? I don't think so. <laughs> the people who are my detractors are people who were bullied their entire lives. And they feel horrible about themselves, so now they found a way to troll someone on the internet with zero repercussions, and it's a way for them to feel like they have power and become popular with zero risk to them. So that's why they do it. That's why they're internet trolls. That's why they don't do that stuff in person to anybody. 
So, you know, that's, you know, they're bullied in real life. So now I got to take that out on someone else so I can feel like the bigger man somewhere. Let's bully people on the internet. And that's how they get into that kind of shit. That's the truth. If, you're, if you know, the truth of the matter is people who are bullies, especially like you've ever got bullied in school by someone, probably the reason they're bullying you is because they're bullied by other people. And now they feel empowered to find someone that they can bully. You know, it's kind of this endless pyramid of, of bullying that's fucked up. It really is a fucked up thing, but it's just part of the human condition, you know? So, no, I'm sorry. My detractors are not people sitting around with AK-47s. They're not gangsters. If they were, they wouldn't be on the internet trolling people because they'd actually have shit to do in real life. Hello, Mr. Jasper. He's back. Oh, let's see here. Heaving Earth Cheater said, so you dislike all thin crust pizza. Hold on a second. Circle Close collapse this. imminent. Get to safety. He says, so you dislike all thin crust pizza? Um, or just the shitty frozen pizza brands? Polish Frog and I are curious. No, I dislike the shitty frozen pizza brands. There are certain flatbread pizzas that I feel are quite good. Um, I don't consider them like authentic pizza, but I think that they're a more Americanized spin on pizza that is quite good. If you do it right. I hear someone running directly by me right now as Jasper's crawling over me. Huh. See if he comes in. Net call. I think he knows I'm in here because he just set down the fucking uh, bombs on the door. You hear it? I missed. Which is stupid because I aimed straight for him and the, the game said, oh, aim to the right. Isn't that great, buddy? That's why this game is a piece of donkey shit, Jasper. Okay, Vash cheered and said, Why does Mario Sunshine remind me of warm colors, red, yellow, and orange, but Luigi's Mansion reminds me of cool colors, blue, green, and purple? Because that's the color scheme of the games. That's what they're going for. Mario Sunshine's meant to be a more bright and vibrant, uh, outdoorsy, beach-style game, while Luigi's Mansion is trying to be like a spooky game, ghosts inside of a mansion. Oh, by the way, I finished a, a contract. Play for, pay uh, a certain amount of minutes. So I got yet another black market job tonight. That's three well, already. Yes, this yeah. I got the legendary Guardian custom outfit for Ajax. The Muertos theme. Whatever that is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Golden Nobles, the 50-bit cheers. I tried the Impossible Whopper today. It's better than the original. Wow. The well, possible? I mean... That's great if that's what you think. I haven't tried it, so I certainly cannot give my opinion. I love the original Whopper, so. Oh, uh, Ben Boxer cheered. He said, Detractor's parents have probably abused them. Schoolmates bullied them. They have no future. So they take it out on other human beings. It's true. People bully because they were bullied. Like, it's been proven. If you, if you study these cases of people who do this kind of shit, it's because in real life, they're, whether it's their loved ones, like their parents or other family members, whether it's their friends, whether it's schoolmates, whether it's other people, or whether it's even, like, people at their job bully them. These people then take it out on people on the internet. That's why they do what they do. Because the truth of the matter is, if you're happy with your life, you don't need to go do that shit. You don't need to bring down others. You don't need to hurt others. You don't even get a sense of uh, feeling good about that because you're so happy with your own way of life. You don't care about bringing down others. You just care about living your own life. The people who do that shit do it because they hate their own lives, and it's a way for them to get enjoyment out of hurting others. That's the truth. So, all right, Mr. Jasper, we're about to jump back in. I didn't have very good luck tonight except for the second place.